Hey guys, Flayologist here with Two Guys Game, and what we're doing today for you is bringing you an unboxing, and as you can see, that's going to be of the Razor Orb Weaver <clears throat> Chroma, which um, is uh, one format that they sell this particular model in. You can get it uh, in a couple different formats, but this is the Chroma model, which means that it has the programmable backlit keypads. Um, they also sell another palm controller called the Nostromo, um, which does not have an adjustable hand rest. Um, and as a matter of fact, the design of that particular model is the exact same as the Belkin N52TE, which is what I was using um, before we picked this up. Um, actually, my wife picked this up for me because my Belkin N52 finally broke after 10 years. Uh, so an early Christmas present here. But anyway, um, this particular unit costs $129, which I think is, is pretty pricey for a palm controller keypad. However, it does have way more adjustability in, than any of the other models available, which means it's going to be a lot more comfortable for you, so it, it may be worth the extra money. Um, it's probably $30 more than most of the other models available. Um, some of the really cool features on this one is a, uh, a backlit keypad. Uh, as you can see here, the colors. It's pretty much a rainbow of colors, and they are programmable um, with different lighting effects, fade, uh, breathing, whatever, and you can customize the color you want as well or have it cycle through them all. Uh, it has 20 programmable keys, um, which are the keypads here. There is two additional keys. Um, there is a key here, which is mapped to your Alt button, and a key thumb pad here, which is mapped to the spacebar key, and you cannot change those. Uh, there's also a four-way directional hat switch on the unit. Um, the four-way, or the sorry, the eight-way hat switch uh, is programmable too, by the way. Um, so let's take a look at it. Let's get this box open and see what comes in this particular with this particular unit here. Uh, another cool thing about the box, you can actually open a door and see the unit inside. Uh, with some cool information there. Nice colorful box. Typical, you know, razor stuff is packaged well. Um, set the box to the side. Anything else in here? No? Oh, here we go. Uh, we have a razor orb weaver book. I guess this is the instruction manual. Oh, there's also two razor stickers for your case or your laptop or whatever you want to use it on. And then we have a congratulations card here with uh, some writing on it. There's a congratulations and how to, how to set up your warranty. So here's our unit. We're going to unbox it. Good eggshell. Of course, we take that apart. There seems to be an eggshell in the back as well of the unit where the cord is. So we'll take that out. And there's our USB cord. Uh, looks like gold gold-plated contact on that, so that's good. Um, pass the USB through the eggshell, get that to the side there, and we're good. So here's the unit. Okay, the um, the USB cable on this model is um, doesn't have a woven inner core, but it does have a woven nylon outer shell, so <clears throat> that should hold up under some under quite a bit of use for you. Um, and really quickly, a couple of the features. You have your 20 programmable keys. <clears throat> you also have a, a palm or a wrist rest, a palm rest, and then your thumb pad uh, with the Alt key and the spacebar key, and your eight-way directional hat. What I will show you really quickly uh, is how this is adjusted. The palm rest has a button right here that you pull out, and it allows you to move this. You guys can see that. To get it perfectly how you might want it, you just push it back in to lock it in place. There's also a button here at the bottom uh, right of the uh, wrist rest, which if you push that in, allows you to extend and shorten the unit. It's maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch of play there. So depending on how long your hand is, you can get it perfect. Uh, there's also a button on the side of the thumb uh, portion of the controller, which if you push in here, allows you to bring that thumb controller out about about an inch from the side of the unit. And I'll show you guys that again. Just push that in. See? 
it extends it about an inch and brings it about an inch from the side of the unit. So all in all, uh, it's a good unit. It looks like it's well made. It is a little bit pricey at $129, but for the three different um, adjustable pads on it for full comfort, it, it's worth it. It, it is for me. Um, so stay tuned. Um, that's the unboxing of this particular unit. All right, guys, here we go. We have the, um, the lighting effects up for you guys so you can take a look at what's going on with the unit a little bit better. Um, what we have right here is just the unit plugged in. This is how it comes out of the box. Uh, this is called spectrum cycling, where it just cycles through all of the available colors um, at one at a time. Uh, so you can see that uh, blue, greens, etc., all the way through the list. There's several other options that we have available as well. There is a pretty cool uh, breathing effect, which we'll show you now, and we'll just have it do it in a random color. Where it selects a color, this is green, it's going to fade out and then come back in in a random color. Red, um, orange, they have orange, pink, I mean pretty much every color is in this thing, it's pretty crazy. Um, let's show you another one as well. This next one is going to be reactive, which we really like. Um, reactive, as you can see, there's nothing on right now, but if I hit a button, uh, it's only going to light up the buttons that you hit. And then it'll go out just in the order that you hit them, which is pretty cool. Um, for now, we're going to leave that set to, uh, well, let's, let's check out one more. This is the wave pattern. As you can see, it cycles in a wave and it's programmable left to right or right to left, however you'd like it done um, for this. Uh, that's a pretty cool effect as well. Um, in the Synapse software, which does not come with this unit, you have to download it, um, but the Synapse software has the lighting controls to set this up. So that's all I'm doing is on another monitor that I have up here is I'm selecting which effect I want to, uh, to be displayed. Um, switch it back to Spectrum Cycling. And, uh, and so it, it's, the brightness is, uh, is adjustable uh, from bright like there um, down to low. Um, which is dim. Uh, all of that's completely adjustable. So uh, that's the lighting effects for the thing. It's pretty pretty great. Uh, we love it. It's a pretty cool looking unit. Um, I think uh, we'll probably, at least for this unit, when I'm using it, I'm going to have it select a reactive because I think it's pretty cool just for it to light up when you touch it. Plus, you're going to extend the life of your LEDs if you don't have it constantly, constantly on and cycling, which uh, which I think is a good idea. All right, guys, let's take a look at the adjustment on this. Um, the price point at $129 is actually, uh, I believe, fair for this. It's high, but it's fair for the amount of adjustment that you get. Uh, it's the only one with this much adjustment of all the models that we looked at so far. Um, and so, uh, so the price, I think, is fair, but Let's go ahead and take a look at the adjustment on this. There's actually three ways to adjust it. The first, as you'll see right here, is a button that you can actually pull out, just pull it straight out. And that allows you to adjust the palm rest forwards and backwards. So as your palm sits on it, you can adjust the height of how far your palm sits up, how flat or how arched your palm is. And when you get it where you want it, you just push in that pin and it locks it back in place. The second adjustment for this particular unit is on the other side, on the right side of the um, wrist rest right here uh, is a button right here, which you push in. And that actually lets you change the length of the entire unit. So I'll go ahead and push it in and show you guys. So you can take it from, uh, it's probably maybe three quarters of an inch of, of adjustment on that. So if you have a long hand, you can pull it out or go in. It's gradiated uh, clicks there so you can adjust it and get it perfect for yourself. Um, so that's that. And then the last adjustment that we have on the unit is actually a button which is pretty well hidden. It's actually in here uh, where your thumb goes just to the left of the eight-way hat switch is a button in here that you can press. And that's actually used to pull the hat switch uh, alt and spacebar buttons and this entire unit right here uh, to the side. Let me get a close up there for you guys. 
sorry about that. Um, so you just pull it in, pull it out. It gives you about, I don't know, probably about an inch of movement. So if you have a really long thumb, as you can see, my thumb, I would like the button way over here. And as you can see, the button is actually here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it and move it out a little bit. And that, that puts the button right underneath my, thumb, underneath my thumb. So that makes it perfect for that. So we really love this. Um, that's all the adjustments on the unit. Uh, continue watching for the next section. All right guys, so far as programmable buttons on this particular unit, this is the, again, the, the Razer Orb Weaver Chroma. Uh, it has six, uh, excuse me, 20 uh, buttons uh, arranged in four rows of five buttons each. Um, this is actually the most buttons of the units that we looked at. We looked at the Nostromo, which Razer also makes, which is in pretty much a, a duplicate of the Belkin N52 TE controller. Uh, which I had and loved. I uh, had that thing for about 10 years before it broke. Great unit. This is what I've, I've purchased to replace it. Um, but on this unit, we have 20 programmable buttons uh, using the Razer Synapse uh, software, which is downloadable for free from Razer's website. Um, it also has two additional buttons. Uh, there's a button here and a button here, uh, which you activate with your thumb. The top button and this button are not programmable. They are locked to specific functions. Uh, this particular button up here is Alt, and this button down here is your spacebar key. Those are not changeable. Um, and in addition to all the buttons, we have an eight-way hat switch uh, here, which is programmable uh, to do various things. So you can uh, set it to numpad up, down, left, right, W, S, D, and uh, a, de depending on what you want it to do, or you can set it up for anything you'd like. It doesn't have to be used for direction at all. You can use it to cycle through toolbars in a game or in, or in an application, um, uh, select tool brushes in Photoshop or whatever you want to do. It's the, the possibilities are endless. But with the most buttons of any of the units that we looked at and, uh, and the fact that they are fully programmable, uh, we really, really do like this feature. So uh, another great point for this unit. All right, guys, so in conclusion, uh, our review of the Razer Orb Weaver Chroma. Um, you know, personally, I'd, I'd give the unit um, an 8 out of 10. Uh, it's got great manufacturing. Uh, it looks like a pretty sturdy unit. Uh, the cord is made well. The unit itself is made well. Uh, the adjustable uh, palm rest, wrist rest, and thumb rest uh, really make this unit stand out apart from any other unit that we've looked at. So if, if long-term gaming comfort is what you're after, and the fact that it has more programmable buttons than any other unit we looked at, then this is definitely the unit for you. We, we, we'd say go ahead and give it a try. We don't think you'll be disappointed. It is a little expensive at $129, so it might be cost prohibitive for some of you. But, um, but if you can save up to get it, we highly recommend it. Thanks for watching Two Guys Gaming. We'll talk to you soon.